Hey everyone and welcome to Jump To Designs. In this video, I'm going to be doing a plan with me with a new kit coming out tomorrow and it is called our Big Apple Kit. So this is a photo kit of all landmarks and everything that makes New York City so great. And we thought it'd be a really fun idea to have in the future kits that represent amazing cities here in the United States. So we're thinking starting with New York City, but we wanna have Los Angeles, um, Miami, Las Vegas, Charleston, Chicago, all those amazing cities. So we wanna have maybe every other week we'll release a new city. And we thought it'd be really fun if we kind of tease the next one coming up in an Instagram story and see if you guys can guess like where we are. And yeah, so that's really exciting. So if you wanna see what this looks like all laid out, then keep on watching. Alrighty everyone, we're gonna jump into this video using the Big Apple Kit and firstly doing the to-do headers across the, oh my gosh! I just realized I did to-do and not today. <gasps> wow, that's so unlike me. Okay, normally I do today headers across the top because I feel like I do my to-do list is more like my work list and I have a separate little icon that I put for that. So I normally put today across the top. So I don't know what I was thinking when I just did that, but oh well, who cares? <laughs> um, so after I put down those headers, I just added the day covers to go on top and I'm loving that we're doing the brush strokes. We've been doing this now for a few months and I just really like the way it looks. It just looks way more airy and crisp and I don't know if you heard those but my cat just walked across the keyboard so there we go. Now I'm gonna get into the favorite, my favorite way of doing the weekend banner and that's putting the thickest size stardust washi strip on the weekend. I just think that it's so much fun and for this kit I am using the gold hollow because I feel like New York City, it's just so bright and vibrant, and I felt like Gold Hollow was perfect. I also feel like using just the regular gold or gold matte, uh, or even champagne, matte champagne, um, would be really nice too. So those I feel like would be my four recommendations. I think if you just want to stick to something classic, do the regular gold, or if you want something a little more fun and vibrant, then I would definitely do the Gold Hollow because I love the way that this looks in the end. So now what I like to do is I like to kind of put down my base and that's just when I put down the full boxes, I put down some check boxes and I just kind of get the base stickers down first before I actually start writing in my planner and I think it's also nice to put down the glitter headers. I love now switching up the glitter header so that all the glitter headers are being used. I know before I used to just do one color throughout like the top section and then one color through the bottom section. So trying to switch it on up. And I'm loving these colors. I wanted to try to find colors that were really representative of New York City. So the green is taken from the Statue of Liberty and I just love this green. It's like a I don't think we've ever used a green like this before, but I definitely love it. I had to have yellow for the yellow taxi. It's just so iconic. And then the brown, I really want a brown for the brownstones and all the buildings that are just so incredible. So those were the colors I chose. And we also chose this really pretty blue for like the sky blue, which I thought was really nice. So those were kind of like the inspirations for the colors. And I'm really liking these full boxes. We found these pictures and I think they're just so like perfect, showing off all the like iconic features in New York. I just think it's great. And then on the bottom, I really liked this washi and I really was trying to like push for this washi because I just think the street with all the cars, I just think it was really interesting and it's really fun. So now that I am doing, I kind of put down all the base stickers. I like to do this on the sidebar since I am planning in an Erin Condren vertical colorful and that has that big hexagon, I think. It is a hexagon, right? Or it's a, I think so. Um, that big colorful shape <laughs> and if you just put your regular box, it will still stick out from the side so you can obviously use white out but 
If you just want something with a little more sparkle, you can then easily add some glitter tabs to the sides and the top. And then working my way down, just adding a habit tracker, a this week, a sidebar, and then the hydrate sticker. And this I feel like is a very just basic way that I've been laying out the sidebar. I feel like it has everything that I would need. And then starting to put down foil because that is when I feel like it really pops. And so for these foil stickers, we just wanted to keep it really simple and just having some confetti to go throughout, which I thought was really fun. And for the quote, we wanted to do one that had two different fonts because I feel like New York can be so like concrete jungle and kind of like really bold like that, but it's also can be really like romantic and fun. So the quote just says, New York, the city that never sleeps, because I don't think it really ever sleeps. And then the bottom washi I love. So what I did for the bottom washi is just everywhere that that were where there was a line in the road, I just made that into a foil line. I just think it adds a really fun touch. So starting off with the Monday and Tuesday, the uh, um, checklist, I just like to then put an appointment label up at the top and then that's where I like to put the work foil script like you can see there. And then a little icon that represents work, whether it's a foil computer monitor or it's the popcorn at the computer monitor or it's the foil coffee cup. I feel like anything that kind of represents work would be fine. And then for these plan with me's, because I feel like it's so much easier to back plan when you're kind of doing stuff like this, I did pick last week. So this is actually what happened in my life last week, but obviously I put it down in a week that hasn't even happened yet. This was March 2 through the 8th, and I just figured that was fine. So last week, I worked a lot on the foil holiday stickers, the color holidays, and some other foil stuff. And then also that day, I started a Jillian Michaels workout Slim 60, which is awesome. I think she is incredible and she's really motivating, but also so tough. And I feel like I need someone like that working out. And so she has an app and that's what I follow her on, which is great. And then also on Monday, I did a lot of cleaning. I feel like since I work from home, I see like stuff in the house a lot when it's dirty. And I feel like I was never someone that was a really, really clean person. Like I cleaned every once in a while, but now that I see it all the time, I feel like I vacuum every other day. I do my laundry all the time and I'm just constantly sweeping up. And I just feel like it's like, just makes my mind so much clearer when my space is clean. So I cleaned and did laundry. And then working on Tuesday, I continued to work on the color holidays because it was actually taking a long time trying to get all the color in all of the blank space. So I worked on that for most of the day and then we are converting our foil sheets to not have that black bar on the side. So if you've ever bought one of our foil sheets in the past, whether it's the icons, the dividers, the full boxes, whatever it may be, most likely it would have had that black bar on the side, which we really loved at first because it was like you could really see the color foil. But we've noticed that some of our foil can be a little iffy sometimes, especially some of the matte colors like matte champagne, where it would look great on the icons, but on a bigger solid piece, it would look very patchy. And we felt like even though the actual icons looked amazing, we still felt like we couldn't sell it because the sidebar that side strip did not look great and we just felt like we were wasting a lot. So we had to go through and take off that black sidebar for all of them. So now if you get a foil icon, you'll see that they're not there, but nothing really has changed on the actual sheet. And then moving on Tuesday, I just did a workout and then I had dinner at my boyfriend's mom's house, which was really nice. It was her, her boyfriend, and then Mike's brother and his girlfriend. So it was a bunch of us there. We had some spaghetti, some meatballs, and it was just a great time. 
On Wednesday, I redid the YouTube van banner because I sometimes forget about it, which is so bad because I should stay on top of that. But I realized that the banner was still a fall type of design and we are in February. So clearly I'm slacking. I mean, no shocker there, but I changed up the YouTube banner to the star snowflake design. And I just feel like that one is just so perfect for the winter time. And then I'm sure in a week or so, I will switch it to a spring one since we're already coming out with designs for spring break and spring. And then after I did that, I worked on the holiday listings and then continued to work on the foil because converting those foil sheets took a lot longer than we thought. And then later on Wednesday, I folded some clothes I filmed the plan with me last week, which was the brunch kit, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. And then Mike left for a work conference. He travels all the time for work, so I just always like to mark that down. And then I watched The Bachelor because that was on two nights last week, and I don't know if you guys are watching, but I feel like this season is, I don't know, it's not really doing it for me. I just like, uh, I think it's okay. So I'm I mean, I definitely want to see what happens in the end, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't know. Tell me if you guys are watching it too. But on Thursday, I edited the brunch video and I uploaded it and I'm still kind of getting used to the way that I want to have my intros. I feel like the last one was a very long intro and it was just not really necessary. So I'm going to try to keep all my intros now to like a minute or less, just more explaining this is the kit hope you enjoy and then anything I need to talk about the kid I can talk about now in this section so then that night I made some pasta for dinner and then I just had a little wine night with my roommate Hannah and we watched the Taylor Swift documentary and I was like surprised how much I like that I used to love Taylor Swift in her whole like red album and was it like 1989 album I loved those but I feel like when she came out with look what you made me do specifically that one song I just did not like it at all and for some reason after that I just didn't give any of her music a chance which is like ridiculous but I feel like that song just like turned me off so much from a lot of her work because I felt like her older stuff was just so lyrically beautiful and I felt like this was just like eh you know okay but then after seeing that documentary and hearing some of the songs and Hannah had seen or listened to this previous album, I listened to it and I hate that I just like shut out all of her music completely because her Reputation album, I think, it was so good. Really good. I still don't like that one song, but everything else is very good. So on Friday, I just had a little bit of work um, getting some old kits ready. We are going to revamp some kits and bring them back to the shop, especially the ones that were the top sellers. Then I made pasta again, and I was actually feeling really sick that day. I think just everyone having the flu, I think I just got like a little bug or some type of cold. But Hannah convinced me to go out with our friends, and so I couldn't say no. So went out, and we had such a fun time. But I think I definitely, you know, regretted it <laughs> the weekend because my sickness just came back and I was stuck in bed for the whole rest of the weekend, basically, or mostly on Sunday. But Saturday morning, after the night out, we got Bojangles, and I used to love Bojangles. I had it all the time in college, but recently I found that I don't know what is going on, but it just sits so poorly with my stomach. I don't know if it's like what they cook stuff in, but it stinks because I love it so much, but then I regret it. So it's one of those things where it's like, I'll eat it occasionally, just knowing what's gonna happen. <laughs> like, I'm, it's just not gonna sit well. It just makes me like bloat so bad. It feels like I rock in my stomach. So it's one of those things where if I'm, you know, not feeling like I need to go out or do anything, then maybe I'll have it, but I try to avoid it. But Saturday during the day, we just chilled at Hannah's um, boyfriend's house. His friends came into town because his birthday was on Monday. So we all just hung out and had just like a 
TV movie day. And then that night we went to El Verdeo, which is this really nice Mexican restaurant. It's definitely one of our favorites. And then Saturday night, we just were still hanging out at Josh's place and we all decided not to go out and they were all playing drinking games, but I was still just not feeling great. Bojangles was making me feel crappy and being sick with the cold made me feel crappy. So I ended up just going home early and that's when I woke up sick. I was not sick because I was hungover. I was sick because I actually feel like I had definitely a cold. And it was just not fun. So I spent the entire day in bed, which is just what I wrote here, in bed all day, which was a complete bummer because I just don't like that. It was just, I get bored really easily. I feel like I actually really like just having a binge day and watching TV, but it's like when you're sick, I just feel like I want to do anything in the world but be laying in bed. But I actually just watched that show, Love Island Australia, and if anyone's watched that, let me know. But I'm up to date with all of the UK Love Island, and I just think that show is just like really entertaining. But that is just all what I did on Sunday. I made pasta again, and can you count how many times I made pasta last week? I mean, it's like a record number. It's kind of scary. So after that, I'm just finishing off this plan with me with putting all of the foil icons on there because I thought these foil icons were just so stinking cute. I loved all of them. And then I just put some of the regular icons from the kit. But I love this kit so much. It turned out way better than I thought. And I'm loving this idea of doing kits from iconic cities in the United States. I just think it is so much fun. And we want to do so many more. I know one that I'm really excited for will be a Charleston one. I've already started finding some of the full boxes and I just think that'll be a lot of fun. But this is the final spread using the Big Apple kit and I love how this turned out guys. I think the gold hollow is so perfect for this kit. It just adds that like extra bling to it which I feel like is perfect for New York City. And that is all. I hope you guys like this video, please like it, subscribe, be on the lookout for some more videos coming up in the future. And that is all. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye!